oh, I'm looking at this and all those blue lines from the guides are kind of getting confusing. So I want to get them out of the way. I'm going to go up here and do view, clear the guides, and bye-bye, they're gone. You notice I left the selection around the window up here because I'm going to try to make it a different shape than a rectangle. Um, but if you have lost the lines, remember you can reselect with the marquee tool. Now here's something that's really trippy. I love this. I'm going to go over to the edit menu and I'm going to do transform warp. Oh, I love this. And it puts these crosshairs like a tic-tac-toe sign. These little dots here let you move and reshape this. Oh, that dot right there, I'm going to drag it up. Oh my god, I'm getting a curvy window. Isn't that hella cool? And if I put the dots at the same height, it's symmetrical. I can pull these down too. I can make it pull down this way. Okay, but I'm trying to keep the dots lined up so that they look symmetrical. If your lines look broken here, it's because they're not evenly spaced. So I'm going to try to make it, uh, there we go. Oh, isn't that just sweet? Now I can pull these out as well. Oh my gosh, but that's getting a little odd. So I'm going to put them back if I can. If I don't like what I got, remember, you can always click on the Move tool and say Don't Apply. Whoa, power of the Photoshop. Why don't you give that a try? Oh, and when you're done, click on the Move tool and say Apply. Bye-bye.